Welcome to Abroad Ability. In this video, we will showcase David Panama. We will discuss why more expats are moving here, a bit on healthcare, grocery shopping, and we'll show you what I saw driving around some residential neighborhoods to determine if I want to become a future expat here. Welcome to David Panama. San Jose de David, also known as David, is the capital of the Cherokee province in Panama and is Panama's third largest city. It is a popular location for various reasons, but some are because people find it to be quite affordable, it's close to the Pan American Highway, it has an airport, and look at this gorgeous waterfall that you can see from the highway. David is approximately a 30 minute car ride and under a $2 bus ride to Boquete. You can get to David from Panama City by a six hour car or bus ride, or you can also take a one hour plane ride. I have seen price ranges from $97 to $161 for flights. Please note that these times are all approximate and price fares can vary. Driving from Boquete to David, I noticed that the temperature was changing. It was getting warmer and warmer the closer we were to David. The highs in David can range from the upper 80s to the low 90s, which is a stark difference from Boquete. Driving into David from Boquete, you begin to see an increase in businesses like hardware stores, car dealerships, auto repairs, banking, furniture stores, and movie theaters. You'll even see an increase in some restaurant chains that you can find in the United States like TGIF, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and McDonald's for example. One thing that future expats and friends and family have inquired about is grocery shopping in Panama. So let's take a look and see what we can find in David. As we pulled into a popular shopping center, Price Mart, I was pleased to see spacious parking reserved for expectant mothers and for those with mobility issues. As soon as I entered Price Mart, I instantly felt like I was in Costco or Sam's Club. This place was huge, and I felt like I was back home in the United States. Okay, so there's a reason for this. Apparently, Price Mart was once a part of Costco. Some expats feel like they must have some of the same products that they purchased in their homelands. You might be in luck or at least find something close to it here. That said, you should also expect to pay the same amount, if not more, than you did when you were back home. If you want to spend less, then you might be able to find the equivalent local brand. Your taste buds and your budget will help you to navigate these choices. After Price Mart, we went to another store which felt like a combination of a department store and a drug store. It had a second level and looking back, I probably should have gone up the escalator to explore some of it. But I don't like shopping. Oops. Like Price Mart, you can find a lot of the same brands that you would see in the United States. I like the fact that I saw products for different hair textures. I did not see the ones that I typically use, but I was pleasantly surprised to see some of these as options. They also have a store, Do It Center, which felt like a smaller version of a Home Depot. You can find construction equipment, paint supplies, kitchen and bathroom fixtures, and so much more. They have a weekend market in David that's under a covered area where vendors set up their stalls to sell things like fresh produce, baked goods, flowers, and much more. It is advised to plan accordingly because residents and restaurant owners get there early in the morning because of the phenomenal prices they can receive. As I mentioned in my previous video on why I moved to or retire in Boquete, I discussed healthcare. David has full service hospitals, which also includes a children's hospital. Many expats and Panamanians will travel from Boquete to David for doctor's visits, dental work, and some specialty treatments. The infrastructure in David, like water, electricity, and internet, has been said to be reliable. In 2016, there were plans to build a new wastewater treatment system for the east and west sectors of the city. I'm not sure if that project broke ground, but investing in wastewater infrastructure is of the utmost importance with regards to responsible infrastructure planning for growing populations, protecting public health, and the environment. I'm happy to see Panama taking these steps. Okay. With all of the great things that David has to offer, I was curious about the rental market. You might be able to find an unfurnished rental for around $400 to $500 a month or furnished rentals that are $700 or more. If you have watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that I have cerebral palsy and I try to highlight how easy it would be for people with mobility issues to navigate different parts of Panama. While in David, I only got in and out of my car to see what shopping would be like and we stopped for food. I didn't have any issues navigating those activities, but cannot give a true description until I return. Looking at their town center, I was happy to see access ramps at every corner and disabled parking in front of a building. David Panama is an interesting location where you can be close to a 30 to 40 minute drive to rainforest, volcanoes, or even a beach. You can drive down a highway and have a waterfall as your view in the distance. Let's take a closer look at Panama's third largest city, 
Sit back, relax, and welcome to David Panama. Thank you.